Good evening, everybody. It's about 4 p.m. in the afternoon. I am sorting out the house because I have a dinner party tonight for eight people, as you can see here. I have been working quite full on this week. I've been on shoots pretty much every day, so I'm not gonna pretend like I made absolutely anything for tonight. I haven't. My mum has so kindly stepped in because I was freaking out at the beginning of this week that I actually didn't have time. Um, and I thought about using like a company or something. My mum was like, I will help you, don't worry. So I kind of just need to cook everything because look at my fridge right now. It's a bit of a tragic, fridge it's definitely not the fridge of someone that's having eight people over so my grandma i think even made something made a stew for tonight i'm so grateful because i just had other priorities this week <laughs> anyway normally it takes me quite a while to like even just set the table you know my priority this week oh hello monkey monkey man um my priority this week is to do the stuff in the house that i haven't done for five months that I've been living here now. It's really that long. Like my bookshelves aren't as cute as I would like them to be. And they're something that I look at every day. I haven't done my pin board in the office. I still have a spare room that has nothing inside it. And I need to get on with it, people. Like <laughs> I'm actually just like killing time now. And I haven't sorted stuff out that I should have sorted out a long time ago. So. I've made a couple of little orders that I was gonna unbox first and then I think I'm going to try and map out a plan for the spare room upstairs. I, if you've watched my Instagram, you'll know that I've already grown out of my shoe cupboard. That didn't take me very long. <laughs> but the plan was to always have like a dressing room upstairs. But yeah, that, <laughs> that was a bit of a fail in the shoe cupboard. But I love my, love my pink cupboards. Okay, this little guy I ordered from a brand that I absolutely am obsessed with. I don't have anything from them, but this is my first item. It is a brand called Casa Carter. As you guys know, I'm obsessed with all things celestial. Let me just move you there. I mean, for example, look, that photo frame still has no picture in it. I'm getting on it this week. I figured that if I say on the vlog I'm getting on it, then you guys will have to watch till the end of the vlog and watch me actually get on it. Like I can't, I can't say that I'm gonna do it and then not on the vlog, you know? Anyway, this is their branding and their packaging. I saw they had a little celestial. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's an ashtray. I mean, I don't smoke and I would never let anyone smoke in my house, but it just looks beautiful it's more like a decorative ashtray than a cigarette ashtray and i think i'm gonna keep this on my coffee table and wow it's stunning it's absolutely stunning oh my gosh duke's just got this giant piece of bubble wrap and if he smashes it it's gonna pop in his face and he's gonna have the fright of his life don't do that don't do that don't do that he was just playing with this oh my gosh it's so 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 beautiful i mean look at this have you ever seen a more beautiful beautiful ashtray oh i think i basically right now i end up like coming in and i'm putting my car keys and stuff on the coffee table and all my bag or whatever and i just kind of like dump stuff down and it's just not really a vibe so i'm gonna put this on my coffee table let me show you what else what else we have here me and my pal the knife everyone gets so stressed when i use a knife okay let's see what else do we have here? So I ordered a couple of little fangs for my bookshelf, etc. Ooh, this is gorgeous. I forgot about this. I've left these until I was filming. This is a gorgeous pearl, pearl box. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. I think that is going to look amazing. I wonder where I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna have to find places for all these things afterwards. Then I got, what is this? Oh yeah, this was a really sweet little brand actually called Poles Potten. And I love, I love birds. I think having birds in your home and having animals around my home, like animal statues or animal pictures or just, I don't know, I just love animals really. <laughs> There's no rhyme or reason to it, people. However, oh, these little guys were so cute. And as you guys know, I have a lot of burly pottery, which kind of matches this sort of painted baby blue vibe. And I thought these birds were so sweet. So I got one little guy here. Let's get rid of that. 
And there's another little guy. Put him over there. Chirp, chirp. Babe. Then the other two things I got were, you might actually remember on my old, 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 old bookshelf, the OGs will remember this, that I had these lipsticks. And somehow, in my move, I just don't know where they are anymore. I don't have them. There's some, they must have got lost in some move or accidentally put into the wrong piles or something. So I had to get another one because it was one of my fav most favorite things on my bookshelf. And I had it for so many years. And this one, this is by a great brand and they do all these kind of, if you're beauty obsessed like me, you will love these. Like look at this. It's like a paperweight. So it's a great little gift if you wanted to buy it for someone or you can use it as decor, which is what I will be using it as cute little lips it's like my lips and my lipstick this bookshelf is a little bit sad it gets a bit empty and lonely up there so I'm gonna put one little guy here maybe this one faces the other way actually yeah I think he does this one can go here this we can take off the shelf I think and let's put this one here and this one here let's leave those two there I'm not sure I don't think that really works there there we go it's quite sweet. I'm gonna have a little play around with this this week, but I think this box is so beautiful that I really want to display it. This is a really cute little girl, and I've kind of left those sort of staring at each other for now. I might bring them a little bit closer together. <laughs> there we go, so they're kissing. And then I've put these little guys here in this corner. I'm so happy with this side of the bookshelf, just not the other side. I think I actually need more books. This is a new one from Rizzoli, which is so cute. Let me just show this to you. It's a Paris pop-up book and it's so incredibly made. There are all the landmarks of Paris as a pop-up. It's incredible. Look at that. Every single one is just so well done. Look at the Louvre. Wow. I love it so much. And this one, there's also Sacre somewhere. Where are you, Sacre Coeur? No, that's not you. This one. How amazing is that? Hallelujah for my mother coming. Look at the rice that she bought. Holy smokes. How amazing is this? Does anyone else get like a nest at the back of their head when they sleep or when they're like out and about for the day? How hilarious is that piece of hair? <laughs> I have a bit of a sleepy face today, but I did have a Sarah Chapman facial yesterday and my skin is looking quite even for me. We did a bit of extractions here, hence the redness, but this is looking life, which is nice. My eyes are really puffy, but I drunk quite a bit this weekend at this wedding. So <laughs> that explains that and this. <laughs> That bit just cracks me up. I um, have made it a very top situation to try and sort out this room, which I have now got on top of, finally. By the way, I'm in these Flora Nikus pyjamas. I'll link them down below because they are so soft. I've washed them literally a thousand times and the softness doesn't disappear. They're so snug, I love them. Anyway, let me show you what I'm actually planning on doing in here. First of all, let me just actually give you a little brief on this room. These two walls here are the walls that I need to do stuff with. This rack I actually just bought to use. I just bought it on Amazon. I'll link it down below if I can find it because it's so cute and sweet. What I did notice when I was ordering it though is you can't like pull the hangers and move them across but that doesn't really bother me so much because I'm using it more for like cute display purposes but I did want one with a double shoe shelf on the bottom. I didn't like just one shelf. I wanted to put like bags on the top shelf and shoes on the bottom. So I'm gonna stock that up and see what I can do there. Basically what I would ideally like to do on these two situations is have a shoe and bag wall dedicated here and have that built out here. If I spin around here, you can get a better idea of that wall behind me. I want that to be all shoes and bags. It is a slanted wall. I'm not a fan of slanted cupboards or slanted shelving. I feel like it's really annoying. So I don't think I'm going to participate in the slant. I think it will end like there. And then on this wall here, what I really want is some sort of open rack 
and maybe with a shelf on top. I'm trying to find one right now that I actually like and that looks cute. That's proving to be a serious challenge. So even though I put it on my Instagram, normally you guys have the answers to everything on Instagram. And I put a picture of what I wanted on my Instagram and though actually most people were saying, I've looked for the same thing, can't find it. Let me know what you find, was what most people said. Some people said Ikea, but Ikea didn't really seem to have what I wanted, weirdly. Anyway, got those there. I am speaking to someone about building a unit for that back wall right now, so I'll show you my inspiration and what I have been after. And then hopefully all my shoes and bags will have an amazing home up here, like more of a display home. And then I also have these two cupboards here to do stuff with. I mean, right now, it is <laughs> a total storage situation for my suitcases. And I've kept like shoe boxes and stuff up there and um, things for my lamps and those are cushions in there. So it's not very useful, the space. And I think I'm going to also change out that unit there. Sorry, it's a bit of a mess in here. That unit I actually bought from a place on Portobello, which I put in one of my vlogs. I'm not gonna mention them by name. I've had the worst ever service with them and I've asked them to come and pick it up so many times because it wasn't what I ordered and they haven't and they just keep not getting back to me. They keep ignoring me and I would not recommend them at all. I feel so conned. At the time I was like, you are gonna deliver it to me tomorrow and I should have maybe paid in half, but you never really pay in half and then pay on delivery. Like that's not how the world works. You pay in full and then you get it delivered. But the guy was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It will be delivered to you tomorrow. He didn't have it in his showroom. That was a number one sign. And then the next day I didn't hear from him. Two weeks later, this arrived, which was not what I ordered. And I said to the man delivering it and I called him and he was like, just take that for now and then we'll arrange re collection and re-delivery. I took it and now I'm waiting for them to come pick it up. I'm so, so disappointed and angry. I think I'm just going to order the one from Graham Green now. Whenever they come to pick it up, I would not recommend them at all. If someone saw them in my vlog and actually wants to buy something from there, then DM me and I will tell you the name, but I'm not going to publicly give them any promotion apart from that they suck. <laughs> I think if you're walking down Portobello, it's really obvious what shop they are anyway. Let me show you my inspo for that room. It's so funny to me because all I thought about, dreamt about, planned was for my shoe room. <laughs> and I've been in this house for five months and I haven't done anything with it. It just shows you like how comfortable I am in this house that like I don't even need the things I thought I needed. Anyway, I'm very excited to still have it. I just haven't got my act together. Let me find my phone because all my images are on here. This is Mariah Carey shelving. What I don't like is how thick these bars are in between. Um, what else do we have here? This green grab from Patricia. I think I messaged her about this and she said she had it made. I liked how kind of wide it was. Sorry, if you can hear this little guy, it's because he's doing his usual thing of getting comfortable. Hey, mister, get comfy. <laughs> I love it. I live for this. <laughs> cool. <laughs> this one I just found on Pinterest and I really liked how the bags and shoes were displayed. I think I would need to do something like that, especially with boots like that as well. Oh, God. All right, all right. You okay there, monkey? This one I really liked because of the different widths between different shelves. That's what I, I think would need. This one was just like colour-coordinated inspo. This one I found all of these on Pinterest, but I love what she did colour coordinating like the grey and the black and the brown with the bags all together. This one I thought was just so beautiful. This one is a bit too showroom vibes for me I think though like with them so spread out and the lighting and stuff I wasn't super into that one. What else do we have here? Oh, <laughs> don't know what that's doing in there. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind. Random screenshots. So the company I'm speaking to at the moment sent me a couple of inspo images. Let me show you these as well. This was one of them, how the shoes are slanted down and then it has this lip here. I wasn't so keen on the lip because I feel like it hides a lot of the shoe. So I'd much prefer the shelves not slanted down, I think. You can get a better idea of it here. I think it looks great, but then the lip is kind of covering the shoe a bit. Okay, let's do a bit of a morning facial routine. Oh my gosh, do you, what is wrong? 
I've been loving using this Lumine Rich Eye Cream. It's beautiful. I mean, my under eyes are not a vibe right now, are they? Oh, it feels so good. Mm. And, oh my God, my poor dog. You know what I think it is? I think my washing detergent makes him cough because when I hang out the washing to dry, the next day he always coughs like that. I feel like I need to like not let him near the washing when it's drying. Because I had a facial yesterday, I don't have any self-tan on my face, so I'm gonna use my Sandra Pay Self-Tan Purity Vitamins Serum because I want a bit more of a glow on my face. And oh, this smells good. You can do your usual stuff. You can put your makeup over it and whatever, but you just get a bit of a nice, glow and use it then i'm going to use my lumine rich day cream this is when my skin just feels so crapola this is what i use mm, it feels so good there we go oh, bring it up 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 i can't tell you what this feels like on your skin you really need to go and have a swatch of it yourself to get a better feeling. It really feels like, it feels like cashmere on your skin. That's literally, it literally feels like my pajamas, but on my face, it's so nice. And then, what else shall I use? And then maybe I'll do a bit of lip cream. This is also Luminate. Mm. Okay. Hello, 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 cheeky monkey. Hello, cheeky monkey. I have a couple of new things to show you guys on here. This is where I'm keeping all my keys and things in my catacarta. Then I actually use this paper tray and I'm keeping magazines and stuff in there. And this also I ordered from Oka. I'm not really sure what to put put in it it is a key tray i might actually put it by my bedside table but for now that is going on there i also have done quite a bit to this bookshelf as you can see i ordered these beautiful little 3d flowers i'll put a link to them down below so i've put one there one there and one there for now and then i have a new ochre photo frame up here which is beautiful this is called faux char green so it looks like this i love the color of it i think it's gorgeous and the kind of thickness of the photo frame then i actually have a hack for this shelf now if you look at the top of the shelf i have three gorgeous glass ornaments let me just stand up here so i can show you better there we go now you can see them a bit better i would like you to guess the price difference between them this one is around 100 pounds and these are around seven pounds i think i think it was even four pounds from ikea so i'll leave a link to them down below because i think the three together like that looks so great and i might even put little tea light candles in these but I'm really happy with those because I wanted something matching this. I feel like this is such a grand candle in the middle. And yeah, I wanted something to kind of look as grand next to it. But you really cannot tell the price difference at all between them, which is amazing. And yeah, everything on here. Nothing much has changed. Looking very happy. My sweet little birdies. In case you're wondering why I have all these bags down here. These are going to the restory today because I want to fix this that's broken on that one this vintage one needs a lot of love like it just looks a bit sad and squashed this one is like super super squashed and sad and this one is the one Estee got me which needs a tiny bit of tidying up because I want to wear it to a couple of events and weddings and stuff this summer so hopefully they can work their magic on those like they did with my shoes you're probably wondering why i wear this jumper every day of my life and it's just the coziest jumper i own i can't stop wearing it i'm obsessed with it these here were some shelving units i ordered and i'm not even gonna unpack them because i ordered them and then realized i probably needed something a bit more bespoke and now i'm gonna return them because i just thought it's a waste even if the bespoke one comes in like four to six weeks or something that's gonna go by so fast and then what am I going to do with these ones? I'm going to have to dismantle them and blah, blah, blah. So 
not doing that. <laughs> this is how this guy sits when he wants to go for a walk like next to his lead. It's so cute. By the way, how incredible are these? They were from the wedding I went to last night with their initials on them. I mean, not last night, the night before that, but look. How good they are, they're actually so comfortable. I did bring my own flats to change into, but these were like so squishy and comfortable. I actually love them. I'm gonna make a little bit of breakfast today. I just put the, today, like, a, like I don't make breakfast any of the other days. I say today, like I don't make breakfast any of the other days. But I wanted to show you what is in my snack cupboard actually, because I just stocked it up and I thought it might be kind of interesting to you. It's not healthy. <laughs> in the slightest. I mean, there's a, there's some nuts in there. That counts as healthy, right? <laughs> All right, here we go. Firstly, I just ordered these Lara bars. Victoria recommended them to me and said they're so yummy. I had this one yesterday, the apple cinnamon one, and I got a huge tummy ache. I think it was just too raw for me. <laughs> so I might be giving these to my sister um, because I'm too scared to eat the other one now. I have a couple bars of chocolate, this one from Finland. I've cracked into the yogurt one and Tony's, which is the best chocolate ever. These are also um, left in my room in Finland and I bought them back. Um, I don't really eat wheat, but if anyone comes over, I've had them for them. These are amazing, these snacks back here. I've got a few of these, urban fruit. Then I have, these are also great, love corn. They're literally just like corn crisps. They're great if you want something salty and, and crispy as a snack, but you don't want crisps, crisps. Chestnuts, um, fruit and nut mix. What else do we have? I have my Livia's Nuglets, which are my fave things ever. Uh, I have a Sherbet Mountain. <laughs> Does anyone remember these from Sweet Shops back in the day? I think this morning I'm gonna have some deliciously Ella. I really feel like something warm, so I might have a bit of this. However, I have to tell you guys about one of my absolute best Amazon purchases ever. I saw quite a few people doing a video on like their best Amazon purchases, so let me know if you want me to do that. This is a ginger grater. Um, normally I would just put ginger in my tea. Let me just get a knife. But this basically grates the ginger for you and makes it a juice and then when you have your ginger tea i have ginger honey and lemon normally it tastes amazing and it takes two seconds here's the little grater it's quite sharp and i'll take my piece of ginger and i'll do this and then that is what it looks like after so you have the juice and you have the ginger pieces that's kind of grated the sorry that's my kettle i don't know if that noise is really annoying but the teapot I use are these ones. They have a little fusion situation in them. So we just put this kettle. So what I do is I literally pour all of this into the little section. Nothing very revolutionary here. Squeeze my lemon in there as well. Now I will let this brew for a couple of minutes. I won't recommend these um, for life teapots mainly because when you're pouring this lid isn't very secure so it kind of comes off it's fine i just normally like pour it over a surface i can wipe down <laughs> i'm not gonna replace them i don't think just because it doesn't really bother me that much but if you're buying new ones then i wouldn't recommend them i'm a little bit nervous at the moment because next week you will see i'm going on a solo trip <laughs> and I've never done that before, so I am a bit nervous right now. I'm not nervous, I'm just a bit on edge. I just feel like I have quite a lot of stuff to do before then, and I'm kind of a bit like not, I just don't really know what to expect next week. I've literally never traveled alone in my life, and I'm 27, so <laughs> I've been on like planes and stuff and like actually travel, but I've never gone on like a trip alone um it's going to be quite an interesting trip as well it's going to be quite an introspective trip it's not like i'm going somewhere where i'm going to know anyone like if i was going to new york or something that wouldn't i don't think in my head that would count either so you will see that by the time you're watching this i will already be there actually so ah panic <laughs> you know what it is it's not even that i don't like being alone because i'm so introverted oh that's not a spoon i love being alone so much i literally live for being alone so it's really not that it's more the 
work week that I'm kind of worried about. Like I'm used to being around loads of people, or filming and doing things, I guess. And I don't really know. Like I'm really bad at like sitting still, even if I'm not working like on the weekends, I'm like, even when I'm by myself, I'm doing stuff. I'm walking to you, I'm organizing things. I don't know, like I'll just find stuff to fill my day with. I'm really bad at sitting still. And the last time I was like forced to sit still was when my engagement ended. So looking inward sometimes is much more challenging than you think. But from that experience, I kind of learned that that is something I need to dedicate time to more frequently to be able to be my best self and develop better. <laughs> develop better? Mm. Oh, I love honey and ginger and lemon. It just <sighs> goes straight into my gut and it's like, ooh, 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 ooh. Um, there is a purpose to this trip, which I will share with you soon, by the way. Ooh, my porridge is looking all nice. Do you want to say goodbye to everyone or not really? Or just have your tummy stroked, yeah? Say bye, see you next week. Uh -huh.